Hello. So in the auto cycle and diesel cycle problem, uh, there was the question of what is the MEP or the mean effective pressure. So MEP, which is the mean effective pressure. And that's a number which uh, is, so at this stage of your learning, uh, of your study, we can treat it as just a thing. So the, the definition of MEP, and it is a pressure, it has units of pressure, it's equal to, it's used for auto cycle and diesel, or it's used for these reciprocating cycle analyses, uh, or in that world. Um, the MEP, by definition, is the network of the cycle divided by the displacement volume. And remember, what's the displacement volume? The displacement volume is the big volume over the small volume. So it's always V1 minus V2, regardless of uh, whether, uh, whether you have an auto cycle or a diesel cycle. So here I'm going to draw my, I'm going to draw two PV diagrams here, V and P. So if we have our auto cycle, we compress and we add heat at constant pressure and we expand isentropically and then we add heat, uh, we remove heat at constant uh, volume. So I said constant pressure, I'm at constant volume. This is the auto cycle. This is my states one, two, three, and four. And for the, um, for, um, the diesel cycle, here's my PV diagram, so we add, we compress from one to two, and then we add heat at constant pressure, and then we expand this, and then we remove heat at constant volume, three, four. So in both these cycles, the first step from one to two is always uh, isentropic compression over the full range. This is V2, this is V1, here, this is V2, V1, so over the full range or over the full compression ratio. Okay, so what does that quantity, so really we can treat it as just a thing, so we can calculate it like this, So, but what does that actually mean? Well, physically, what it means is that, um, it, so it's the, let's analyze this equation, so it's the network divided by the difference in volume. The network, geometrically, it's this area here, so for the auto cycle and the diesel cycle, well, for any cycle, the net amount of work is the area enclosed by the cycle in the PV plane. So to understand the, the sort of the graphical or the, the physical meaning of this, I'm going to rewrite this equation as work net is equal to MEP this is a pressure, this is a single pressure, multiplied by V1 minus V2. So what is this equation? This is the equation for the work done in a cycle, or the work done in the, in the PV plane, and this is for, so it's a pressure times delta V, that's the equation of a, of a rectangle, right? That's a, so that's a rectangle, like here I'm gonna, I'll just change, I'll just change color. So this is P delta V. That's the work done by a constant pressure process, like so. In red. And this height here, this is the MEP. And same thing here for the diesel cycle. So the mean effective pressure is the pressure that the process would have to be operating under, under if all of the process was done as just a single constant pressure expansion from uh, V2 to V1. Or another way to say it is that we are taking the area in the cycle and we're just the, 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 the modeling it into a square or into a rectangle. And we know that the, the length of that rectangle is going to be V1 minus V2. And the height of that rectangle 
uh, will be the MEP itself. Uh, that's right. So if we try to compute these numbers, so there's a, a um, there's a few different ways to compute this. I'm going to go back to uh, black, so we can um, so the we need to know what's the net uh, so the net amount of work uh, for the auto cycle is going to be the work done from the expansion. So it's going to be CV T3 minus T4. This is the work done for an isentropic expansion minus CV T2 minus T1. That's the net work amount of work done for a um, uh, isentropic compression. And we want to divide that by V1 minus V2. Now, I may not have the values for V1 and V2, but I know the volume at one, this is going to be, so if I do PV equals, uh, so PV equals MRT, so this will be MRT1 over P1 minus MR. T2 over P2. Actually, sorry, this should be a mass here as well. It's M, this is the actual work done. So now the masses can cancel out. So mass, 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 mass. It cancels out with this. Um, let's see. So the CVs and the Rs we can pull out. And remember the ideal gas. So CV is equal to R over K minus 1. So CV over R is equal to 1 over K minus 1. So the network over V1 minus V2 is equal to 1 over K minus 1. And now this will be T3 minus T4 minus T2 plus T1 divided by T1 over P1 minus T2 over P2, like this. So we can punch this in. There's a way to simplify this. Uh, there's a way to simplify this uh, even uh, further. Um, uh, although I'm not, uh, I, I won't cover it in this uh, particular example. So this is for the auto cycle. Now for the diesel cycle, it's a little bit different. So the net amount of work done over V1 minus V2. Now the net amount of work done has two components. So there's the constant pressure work. So it's going to be P3, V3 minus V2, plus the work done from 3 to 4. So plus MCV, uh, MCV T3 minus T4. And then we have to subtract the work done during the compression, MCVT2 minus T1, and divide all of that by V1 minus V2. And V1 minus V2, and that's going to be the same MRT1 over P1 minus T2 over P2. So the masses, masses, mass. These will become specific volume, V3 over M, V2 over M, and R and CV. So this will become, so P3 over, uh, sorry, P3 over R. So, so we're going to have P3 over R, and then we'll have specific volume at 3 minus the specific volume at 2, plus CV over R, so 1 over K minus 1. T3 minus T4 minus T2 plus T1 divided by T1 over P1 minus T2 over P2 like this and we can sub we can we can simplify um, a, a, a little bit more so P3 P equals rho RT, so P3 over R, this is equal to T3 over V3, so this is equal to T3 over V3, V3 minus V2 plus 1 over K minus 1, 
T3 minus T4 minus T1 or minus T2 plus T1 over T1 over P1 minus T2 over P2. There we go. So there's a sort of a million ways of computing, uh, computing the mean effective pressure. There's also a much more compact uh, equation. We could also recognize that the net amount of work done for an auto cycle, for example, well, for any cycle, is actually the efficiency times Q in. And for an auto cycle, the efficiency is just 1 minus 1 over the compression ratio to the K minus 1 multiplied by the amount of Q in. And I have to divide by the displacement volume, or V1 over V2. And what we'll do, what we'll do is, so this would be equal to the efficiency, 1 minus 1 over R to the K minus 1. Q in, I'll divide by the mass, so I have Q in over mass divided by, and then I'll get specific volume, so specific volume at 1 minus specific volume at 2 which could even be uh, simplified a little bit uh, further. And we'll have something similar for the diesel cycle, except for the numbers in this bracket will be the efficiency of the diesel cycle.